Thank you for being with us. Equal treatment under the law. It's a basic right that we should all receive, but unfortunately, too many don't. And that has wide reaching implications. Here to talk about this issue is Tiffany Williams Roberts of the Southern Center for Human Rights. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Of course. So let's talk about the Southern Center for Human Rights. Maybe our viewers were not familiar with sure. it. What do you do there? We are a nonprofit law firm founded in 1976 by ministers, organizers, and lawyers who wanted to abolish the death penalty and decriminalize race and poverty in the Deep South. And so since then, we continue to litigate. We represent people who can't afford lawyers, but we also do policy work to shift laws and policies across the country, or especially in the South. Fantastic. And the is, am I right here? The criminal justice system hasn't really impacted you personally, but yet this work is so important to you. Why has that been the case? It's very important to me. I've never been incarcerated, and I've never been arrested. I'm, a, I'm the mother. I'm a Sorry, I'm the daughter of an organizer, and I have two older brothers, and I watched them be impacted by um, law enforcement harassment and other uh, social ills. And so it's really important to me personally because it impacts my community, and I have a child, and it will impact her. Yeah, good for you. you. And and I want to mention that you're also uh, partnering with Women on the Rise, who've been on the show several times. Mm -hmm. Wonderful organization. How did that come about? Well, I met the founder of Women on the Rise, Marilyn Wynn, in 2008 when I was a baby lawyer doing organizing around police oversight here in Atlanta. Um, and it's just really important to center people who are closest to the problem. Yeah. Uh, and Marilyn Wynn, Robin Hassan, and others have just been wonderful assets to us in our community. Good. And I know that your organization has really been heavily involved in campaigns, including the closing and repurposing of the ACDC. Talk about that. Why is that so important to our community? And kind of give us more information about that. Sure. When Ms. Wynn told us about her vision to close the extra jail, we thought it only made sense to repurpose a facility so large and to redistribute funds toward community needs. Right. Um, it seemed far-fetched, but it was so totally something that the city needs. And how's it going? Because there's hesitancy towards moving that legislation forward. Let's talk more about that. Sure. Unfortunately, the mayor has agreed to a lease that fills the jail again with Fulton County residents, but we are hopeful um, that at the end of the lease it will be available so that we can really make that facility something that serves all Atlantans. Yeah, and let's talk about some other policies that may be important to the Southern Center for Human Rights um, that actually affect the formerly incarcerated. Sure. The um, formerly incarcerated community has a very difficult time obtaining housing, yeah. jobs, um, access to the things that we think are uh, natural human sure. uh, needs. And so uh, we believe that our clients who are represented once they're released from prison should have a fair shake at every opportunity just like everyone else does. Yeah, and, and we've met some of the, these wonderful women through Women on the Rise and just hearing their stories and what they're up against, it, um, it really is something that we all, if we can, mm -hmm. need to lend our voice to. And why do you think it is so important that their voices count, that they matter? They more they know more than we do. Exactly. Who knows your household better than you, right? Right. Who knows the problem uh, closer than the people who have uh, directly impacted, have directly influenced, been influenced by the impact of right. the issue. Right. And if our viewers are listening and they feel compelled to get involved with your organization, Women on the Rise, um, any final thoughts or messages as to why it is so critical, especially right now? We need your help. Um, the criminal legal system is a place where people experience a lot of suffering. We are at uh, SCA hr.org and we work around the clock to ensure that organizations and communities have resources and support from ordinary people who want to see a change. Yes, uh, thank goodness for you and we so, so appreciate it. Guys, if you would like to learn more about the Southern Center for Human Rights, as she mentioned, please check out their website. It's schr.org. You can also learn more about Women on the Rise and the great work that they do at womenontherise.org to learn about their mission. And thank you so much to Women on the Rise for sponsoring that segment. And thank you, Tiffany. Thank you for having me. For sharing me. your story. Appreciate it.